All right, in this video, we're going to talk about using the integral test for series. And the integral test is just another way to address whether a particular series will converge or diverge. Um, again, we won't really be able to answer the question what it converges to or what it diverges, or, well, if it diverges, it diverges, but if it does converge, what it does converge to. Um, and the integral test says, okay, and this is kind of vague maybe if this is the first time you're seeing it, but I'll do some examples in just a second. You're going to turn the series into a function, and the function you're looking at, it must have these particular properties. It says the function must be positive, and all that means is, hey, if you graph it, it's going to be above the x-axis. It's got to be continuous, and remember, there's a there's a limit definition showing that things are continuous. We don't really need to do that. We can just use the fact that polynomials are continuous on their domain. e to the x is continuous everywhere. The natural logarithm function is continuous on its domain. Likewise for trig functions, um, rational functions. And so we won't really, usually don't have to justify the positive and continuous too much. Um, usually in these problems, at least on exams that I've seen for the most part, they do want you to justify that the function's decreasing. Sometimes that's pretty obvious, sometimes it's not really that obvious at all. Um, and to show that something's decreasing or increasing, remember you can use the first derivative test. And I'll definitely do some examples where I use the first derivative test to show that the function is decreasing. Um, so these problems can turn a little long. Once your function passes those three criteria, it says now you have to look at the improper integral itself. Um, and remember improper integrals, those are the ones where they go from 1 to infinity or 5 to infinity or maybe negative infinity to positive infinity. In our case, our lower limit will always be a finite number. And the idea is you'll basically examine the improper integral if the improper integral converges, the series, the original series itself, also converges. If the improper integral diverges, then the series itself diverges. Another useful result in this section, um, and you may recall this from doing improper integrals, it says the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x raised to a power it says this improper integral is going to converge if this power p is greater than 1. Well, if you translate that into the series, it says if you have from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p, that's going to converge if p is greater than 1. And these series at the bottom are known as p-series, and you will use them a whole lot to justify whether or not a particular series will converge or diverge. So this is the basic idea of an integral test. Um, there's definitely going to be videos right after this one, so take a look at them to watch some examples and how they're done.